<laughs> Eels, swordfish, oysters. <laughs> no surprise there. <laughs> I bet there's no monkfish in Siren Seafood Stew of Lust, though. <laughs> oh, Siren cooked up this little aphrodisiac so that Fox would respond to her. <laughs> but studly Sam Bennett gobbled it down instead. <laughs> oh, poor old Ivy. Oh, oh, the Bennett house is going to witness a night of passion unequaled since Jane finally gave in to Tarzan. <laughs> oh, I must go check on my little demonette. Ivy! Questions, woman. Oh, 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 Sam! Oh, my God. Oh, no. I want, I need to make love to you right now. You ate plenty of my fish stew, Fox. You'll need all your strength once my magic kicks in. Oh. Siren. Oh, you feel so tense. I, I, I can't help it. Well, let me help you unwind. I can't believe that she went away to that romantic seaside inn with Miguel. She's, she's my fiance. She should be here with me. to trust that Miguel will not take advantage of Kay's confusion. <laughs> because if he does, I'll kill him. Mm. Uh. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Lust potion? What is this stuff? You were in my surprise. It's just massage oil. I hear it's magic. It's uh, half empty. Because you drank it. Is it working? Where were we? I shouldn't. I can't be with Kay, it's wrong. But I don't feel like stopping. They cleft me now. Teresa, honey, I'm glad you made it. <laughs> you shouldn't be alone tonight. Want to get a table? Yeah, sure. Because angels okay. are so Hey, how's it going? It's good to see you back here working, man. Yeah, well, you know, keeps me from moping around thinking about fancy. Are you sure you two can't work things out? Well, I could, but, uh, you know, Fancy's made it clear that she's moving on. Well, look, man, don't give up hope. Miracles happen. I mean, Whitney and I, we're back together. We're gonna get married, have a real family with Miles. Look, if Fancy is really the woman for you, don't give up. I appreciate your optimism. However, uh, love, my friend, is a two-way street. And Fancy's in love. It's just not with me. Don't let them take my baby, please. Don't. Hush now, darling. It's all over. No. The baby's gone. You've got to let the paramedics take the body. No. Just let them do their job. <laughs> Go. 
go away. Just go away. You let them take him. Sharon, please. Go away, Chris. Sharon, it was my baby, too. <laughs> Father is roasting in hell. I swear if I find anyone who's working for Alice or anyone connected with this organism, they are gonna pay. this happy in a long time. It was nice of them to invite us this evening. Yeah, I'm hoping Whitney and I will have a better relationship now. It's a miracle we're back together again. Well, it's not exactly what I would call a miracle. Evil is what separated them, Alistair. I'm not gonna lose any sleep over your father's death. No will I, my dear. I will sing my song. Oh, God bless them. As much as I came to love Chad as our son, I'd much rather he be happy with Whitney. Yes, but it's still a shame that he's the son of, of Alistair by Liz. It's bad enough having Alistair Crane for your father, but Liz... I'm going to have to tell him his mother was the one who tried to kill me and father, and he's a child of rape. Julian, but not tonight. I'm already so sad about TC's accident. I just couldn't bear it. And look, they're, they're so happy together. Let's just let them have that for a while. All right. I'll be quiet tonight, but I'm going to have to tell him sometime, no matter how painful it may be. I'm just thinking, not only is he a crane, he's my half-brother. And Sheridan's. And he's Fox and Fancy's uncle. To the least. Oh, gosh, don't go on. It's too confusing. <laughs> Can I get you something, miss? Lurky, I'll have what she's having. Someone to love me that much. And could you make it a double? Damn. You know, we're just all out of that behind the bar. But don't you worry. A gorgeous, exciting woman like yourself. I'm sure you won't have any problems finding someone. Hey, I'm Devin. Now, a gorgeous woman like you shouldn't be sitting alone. Would you like to dance? Um. Thank you. That's that's very sweet, but I'm. She'd gonna... love to. Yeah, I would. I would love to. Well, great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> going, Teresa. Now, don't you worry. The right someone is just around the corner. I just want him back. I just, I want my baby back. I want him It's okay. Someone will pay for this. Oh my God. What's this? So scary, Daddy having a stroke at his age. I know, sweetheart, but it does happen. It's a variety of factors: genetics, car accident, his temper. Julian. No, he's right. There's no secret. Coach has always been wound too tight. Well, I know when he gets out of the hospital, he's going to need a lot of special care, and you know, I'll help any way I can. Good for you, sweetheart. See, father's not only going to need a lot of physical support, but he's going to need all of us around him to, to let him know that we love him. All the Russell girls back together again, huh? <laughs> oh, well, speak of the devil, there's Simone right there. Um, Mom, does it still bother you? No, no, I just 
as long as Simone's happy. Hey, you guys are all here. Do you mind if Ray and I join you guys? Until the day that one. Ah. Ivy, come here. <laughs> Again. Again. Come here. Uh, Damn. Ivy. Oh. Oh, uh, uh, Ivy. Mm. Uh, uh. Sam. Oh, God. I will never forget this night as long as I live. Oh. Oh. God. I have never seen you be so, so creative. <laughs> oh. Really, Sam? What's gotten into you? No talking. Okay. Okay. You're right. You know, I think maybe, uh, maybe we should go to bed. I think you're gonna need your rest. Rest? Are you mad? I'm just getting warmed up. Really? Oh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, Sam, you know, honey, I think maybe, um, maybe I could take a, a break and, and take a shower and cool off just a little bit. I don't want you to ever cool off. Really? Uh, oh, 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 Sam, Sam, wait. Oh, you know what? what? <laughs> Good things come to bad boys who wait. <laughs> Sam, really, you keep that thing away from me. Anybody home? Oh. <laughs> oh. Looks like someone's having a party and they didn't invite me. Oh, Sam, you're gonna hurt yourself. <laughs> oh my. So. This is what the working classes do when they have some spare time. <laughs> this makes no sense. Half of this stew is gone, but Fox is still in the living room obsessing over Fickle K. Oh, Fickle. People in glass houses. My fish stew has never failed. Fox should be powerless against his lust for me. What did I do wrong? Oh, nothing. Your fish stew is working fine, but not for Fox. He didn't eat it. Studley Sam Bennett ate it. No. <laughs> yes. Quite the wrong mortal is overcome with lust right now. <laughs> you know, that Sam Bennett's pretty hot. Where did he go? You keep your flippers to yourself, fish girl. He's where he should be, at home with Ivy. And you can imagine what they're up to right now. Oh, yes! Oh, Sam! Oh, yes! I'd like to get that recipe off you before you leave town. Don't get your hopes up. I'm not going anywhere. Why not, for Hades' sake? Every single attempt you've made to snare a man into your net has failed. Why don't you just give up? There's still enough stew left. I'll make sure Fox has some. Here, here, you leave that stew with me. What are you doing? I, I, I want it. Leave it with me. Whatever for. <sighs> Haven't you seen the new mailman, I Rumba? He can cancel my stamps any day. Oh, you're like a thousand years older than he is. Oh, how dare you? Have you ever seen The Graduate? Give me that stew. <gasps> no, it's for Fox. <laughs> hey, ladies, oh. what's going on in here? I can't make love to Kay. She's Fox's fiance, but these urges are so, so powerful. Miguel, why'd you run off like that? Run off? Yeah, it was so romantic. Huh? In our room, we were about to make love. Oh, uh, well, there's, there's plenty of time for that, Kay. It's, it's a gorgeous night. I mean, we, I thought it'd be a great idea if we took a long walk on the beach. Now? Yeah, why not? I mean, we, we could even go swimming. Water is ice cold. Good. What? Oh, I, I said you're right. you're right. Kiss me. Oh my God, would you look at these stars, Kay? Would you look at these? Oh, wow. Hey, what is wrong with him? Maybe that potion isn't magical. 
Maybe I have to take a little action to get things to kick in. <sighs> okay, I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. I can't keep fighting these feelings. But I want to make love to her so bad. I just know I can't. Miguel? <sighs> yes. I don't want to wait anymore. You need to feel your arms around me. Oh, yes, Thomas. I love you, Kay. I love you. Going on. Well, Siren did the cooking, so I was offering to do the washing up, but the dear girl won't let me. You're too sweet, Tabitha. Of course, I'll let you do the dishes, but first, Fox has to have a taste of this delicious stew. Too late, too late. It's, it, it, it's, it's all gone. Oh, don't be silly, Tabitha. There's plenty there, and Fox hasn't eaten yet. Anyway, I think it's gone off already. Seafood, it goes bad so quickly in this heat. You have no idea how bad seafood is. Siren, get. it's all right. I'm not hungry right now, anyways. I've got more important things on my mind than eating. <laughs> Sir, are you all right? Oh, dear, did I do that? Oh, I'm such a butterfingers. I'm fine. I just have to go change. Yes, yes, you do that, dear. I will be back. Oh, no, Dora. Sloppy K leaves her diary everywhere. Well, she should be careful, because no one should read someone else's diary. But on the other hand, K is in trouble, and the clue to bringing back the old K might be in here. Oh, I'm Dora. Now you've done it. Sorry. Why are you sorry? You're my fiance. We should be making love all the time. That's kind of neat. Make love to me. God, it's been so long. We could grab some more chairs. But until the day that one. Oh, okay, I get it. If we're not welcome, then it's just. No, Simone. Simone, honey, of course you're welcome. Please join us. Ray, it's lovely to see you again. You too, Dr. Russell. Eve, please. Eve, <laughs> come on, join us. This just makes me so happy. Just seeing my daughters together with the people that they love. Thanks, Mom. Noah? Hi. Um, can I have some hot tea, please? Yeah, of course. Um, where's your new friend? Um, my new friend is actually a new hire at Crane. And uh, two minutes into our dance, he decided to ask me for a promotion. Wow. What? What'd you say? Um, well, I said that, you know, if he wants a promotion, that he needs to have experience in the field, and he completely agreed. So, uh, first thing Monday morning, I'm going to transfer him to our new diamond mining operation in Siberia. <laughs> You're bad, you know that. Is that how it's going to be? Are men only going to be interested in me because I'm Mrs. Alistair Crane instead of Teresa? Did you see this? 
What? I should get rid of this before Sheridan sees it. She doesn't need more reminders. She's lost Marty and her baby. No, that's a good idea. She's already in enough pain. I think Sheridan should get back to bed. Why don't I run you a hot bath, honey? And then I'll change your bed and we'll get you into a fresh nightie. It might help you feel better. You're sweet. I don't think anything will make me feel better. Thanks, Fancy. I wish there was something I could do to help her. So do I. You know, this is all because of her damn father. The man is a sick and evil bastard. God, I wish I would have killed him myself. You never knew Alistair. And you're lucky you never had to deal with it. Yeah. Lucky. Oh, my God. Rebecca, how long have you been here? Oh, long enough. And Ivy? On what? Oh, honey, please. Look at this room, huh? And you know, I'm not deaf. I mean, the sounds coming from that shower, uh, it's like the soundtrack to The Bride of King Kong. You listened? Of course I listened. And Ivy, I have to tell you, I am so impressed. I mean, I always thought you were a cold fish. I had no idea that you could inspire such passion. Well, there's a lot of things you don't know about me. Apparently. But I'm more than willing to find out. Rebecca, you are as bad as our sophomore year when all those frat boys had to go to the hospital. Oh, please. They all had great big smiles on their faces when they went into surgery. <sighs> Sam and I don't go in for those nasty games that you and Julian play. Ivy, where are you? I have a new game I want us to play. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, about 170 pounds of that. <laughs> <laughs> Sam! Cover up! I've missed you. Uh, oh. His diary is, is so strange. I mean, she's totally confused, and her writing has totally changed since she received that shock. Hmm. And that's not all that's changed. It says here that Kate has gone on this trip to make love to Miguel. Oh, dear, really? I must get Miguel alone. For days now, he won't make love. I'm tired of nothing but romance. A girl has needs. Needs. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Well, don't worry, folks. Miguel knows that, that Kay isn't herself at the moment. He won't be able to resist her. Even, even when she's not herself, she's still the sexiest woman in all of New England. I'm driving up there right now to put a stop to this. No, no, Fox, don't. Wait. It... Oh, my. If he gets up there and finds... Kay and Miguel making whoopee. It's not going to be pretty. Where's Fox? He's on his way to the seaside inn to stop Kay and Miguel having it off. Instead of waiting for me? Well, he's wasting his time. 
That goody goody Miguel won't touch Kay. He's much too honorable. Hmm. I've got news for you, Miss Fish Fatale. Kay stole a little potion of mine that is ten times stronger than your stew. And if, if Kay uses it on Miguel, he won't be able to resist her. And you said Fox is on his way up there to stop them? That's the plan. Perfect! Miguel will be all wound up. Fox won't let him touch Kay. Miguel won't be able to resist me. I have to get up there. But uh, you, you won't get there in time. Do the mermaids even drive? Drive? <laughs> I can outrace a nuclear submarine. You watch. Miguel will be mine tonight. <laughs> Now, the fat's in the fire. God, I love you. really great. I didn't think she'd be so accepting. I know. She's really improving. Not to bring up a sore subject, but how's your dad? It's sad. I mean, first the car accident and now the stroke. He's a little better, I guess. He'll be leaving the hospital soon. I love my family so much, even though my mom and dad aren't together anymore. It's just... I want all of us to be happy. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sorry, honey. It's my pager. Let me see. Oh, it's the hospital. I better call in in case it's about TC. Okay, okay, so let me get this straight. One dance, and you send the guy to Siberia. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he's the one who told me he likes to travel. Uh-huh. Okay, okay, come on. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna, you know, give up on men altogether and, and join the convent, you know? I bet you your old room is just there waiting for me. Oh, stop it. You know you're gonna find somebody that's interested in you just for you. Oh, well, what about him? Hmm? Noah? Oh, that's like dating my brother. That's gross. Oh, oops. It's okay, apology accepted. Um, yeah, next time I'll try to put just <laughs> both feet in my mouth, okay? No, no, you know what? Sorry. Don't even worry about it. Mm -hmm. Chad is not my brother. He never was. You know, I think that's why I can never get him out of my heart. Because down deep, I knew we weren't related. Well, Whitney, you guys got a love that's gonna last forever. <laughs> Kinda wish you wouldn't say that, but yeah, you're right. Why? It's nothing. Just me being pessimistic again, but every time I finally start to get some happiness, I think it's just gonna slip away. No, 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 no. You two are gonna be together forever, okay? Nothing's gonna tear you apart. Nothing. All you do is worry. It's gonna be okay. Nothing's gonna change for us. I'm gonna see you just as much as I did before. Now, what I have with Whitney isn't gonna change what we have. I swear. You go to my head. Wow. That was amazing. <laughs> you and I are so great together. I'm sorry, Kay. I tried so hard to find my desires. My love for you is too strong. What? What are you talking about? You're my fiance. Why wouldn't you want to make love to me? Oh. I get it. I know why you didn't want to make love to me. Why didn't you tell me? All right, you rest, okay? I'll bring you some of that chamomile tea you like. Oh, don't bother. The only two things I want in this world are gone. Marty. And my baby. Oh, Aunt Sheridan, don't. You'll make yourself sick. It's just too much. It's painful. All I know is pain. 
I don't think I can go on like this. I don't think I want don't to. Don't say that. I can't live with this. I can't. Go on. <laughs> Cry it out. It's okay, I'm here. Just let it all out, okay? <laughs> My condolences on the loss of your child. Thank you. And I'm sorry about Marty. All I ever heard is what a sweet kid he was. I'm worried about Sheridan. This is too much for anybody to take. And she's so strong in some ways, but with this... She's already suffered so much in her life. She knew that Alistair literally had dozens of people over in Italy working for him to keep this sick Omega plot going. I want to make it my mission in life to keep Sheridan away from anyone who has a connection to this symbol. a blue collar cop. Guilty. Guilty. Arrest me, please. I have my own cops. You know, you can never find a cop when you need Why didn't you tell me what was going on? I tried. I just didn't want to confuse you or upset you. None of us did. None of us? <laughs> what? I'm not upset. I... Actually, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a little touched. A touched? Yeah, I mean, you wanted to wait until our wedding night. That's really sweet. Okay. <laughs> no, I... silly, I'm not a... Wishing bride. Come on, we have a child together. <laughs> I don't want to ever stop making love to you. Oh. Well, that's great. You know, it's funny. What? I mean, we made love tonight, and it was <sighs> amazing. <laughs> but for some reason, it's just, it feels like it's been years since we made love. Isn't that weird? Oh, well. As long as we're together. And look, we can stay apart the night before the wedding, but until then, I wouldn't make love to you all the time. Okay, we shut it. Ha! I bet I beat Fox. I didn't win the underwater 500 for nothing. No, you don't, kid. Miguel is mine. What's she doing? Don't act like I'm not here. I'm sorry, my love. I don't know what to do with myself. I don't want to stand. I don't want to sit. I'm empty. My baby's gone, just like Marty. Shh, you're in luck. It's going to be all right. I swear. You know, I'm here for you, right? I'm, I'm, I'll always be here for you, okay? Chris. Thank you. It's okay. Can't we just be alone? Just the two 
dudas. Luis. got to get to the hospital. Is it Daddy? Yes, but I will call you if it's anything serious. Oh, I'll come with you. Oh, no, honey. I, I think I'm going to spend the night at the hospital to take care of TC. But you just have a good night's sleep, and I'll see you in the morning. OK. okay. <laughs> good night. Yeah, I hope you're right. It just seems like every time I start to feel happy or in love, the rug gets pulled out from under me, you know? What if I lose Chad? You are not going to lose him. What did I just hear? I'm sorry, baby, but you are stuck with me till death do us part. Yeah, that's my cue to uh, exit. <laughs> oh. oh! I'm so sorry. I didn't, I didn't see you there. I'm so... Why don't you watch where you're going, you idiot? Uh. To my head. What's wrong with your life? Find someone new to love. I don't know what I'll do if you've already slept with me, Cal. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, I can explain. Tuesdays this fall.